channel my name remains of to Udo so in today's video we are actually going to learn how to import an excel data file precisely a csv file into my sql workbench all right follow me if you open my sql workbench this is the interface that you are going to see just like this however to import the data you have to ensure that your data is already created in my own case i have already created my data this is my data and um, we have it we have my data here so we have to import this data into my SQL always ensure that your data is saved in a CSV file CSV file this that's how you should save your data since I already saved this I'm not going to open it again I'm not going to save it again it's just going to be there so we go straight into my SQL workbench and launch my SQL workbench. All right. And this open, we head straight to our schema. This is our schema. So when you open your schema, if you are like me, you might have already have some data that you're already working with or that you have worked with that you've not dropped the table and it's still present in your schema. There is nothing wrong with that. You can still create a new schema from there. So all you have to do is right click and then create schema or you come here and click create schema all of them is the same thing so what are we going to name our new schema as schema is equivalent to what you call a database so let's name it new new cells <laughs> new cells yes right so one thing you have to note here is that you cannot write it like this because it's going to be a problem when you are working with the data set because you always have to put double code around the data set when you're working with it so i don't recommend that you write it two words always ensure that it is one word it's either you write it like this new cells or you put an underscore i prefer an underscore so that anybody that sees the table can always understand on the first um, outlook that this is actually new cells so once you um, name your schema or your database you click apply and then click apply and then close it and look at it here the data is here if you open this data you find out that there is no table because we haven't added a table yet which is the main aim of this video so you right click on the table and then import table and by this time i believe you already know your file part is that you can type your file part or you can browse it in my own case i want to browse it this is where i saved it and it comes here you click on next drop table if it exists i always like clicking there and then yeah this is what you have your column name and the type of data in your column and the encoding is utf8 if you remember when i saved my work it was an utf8 in my csv file and um these are other encodings in case your data comes in various encodings and you don't want to change the encoding uh, my sql workbench accepts you to take the data inside it just like that and use it so you click on next and then next this will take just like three to five seconds for it to complete the entire process and it's completed you click next click finished and uh you have to come back here and right click because it's not going to show except you refresh the entire thing is that you right click and refresh or you just come here and click refresh schema and you will see your table right here if you can remember what i told you about my table if you click here on the data and you click here yeah this is our data now if you know look at this carefully you will see that this table is put in quotes because it was not it is not one word there are like five words here cells dash go and it's not always advisable because it takes so much time to type this and also putting the quote inside it takes a lot of time so let's check if uh we have actually successfully imported it yeah of course but let us write the syntax for ourselves use new cells new cells and um run it yeah if you're using it for the first time you always have to ensure you do that so select everything the name of our table is Mila's Mila's and um co cells oops too long a name <laughs> but okay so and um this would show an error definitely looks like it is 
Boom. Yep, true and error. All right, so let's do this again. Click on your table and then click here. And you have this. The table comes here. So let's just copy this directly. And uh, come here. It's like I missed the spelling there. Okay. And then you run it. Absolutely. We have successfully imported our data. So this is our data and this is how to actually import your CSV Excel data into my SQL workbench. If this video was valuable to you, kindly like the video, drop a comment, share this video with your friends and families, and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. Till I see you next time, stay blessed and have a truly great life.